For people with slow computers, before taking your computer to the repair shop or even thinking about replacing it, please check out remotetechassistance.com. Also, make sure you check out the seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is simple, it is free, and it is safe. Check it out at remotetechassistance.com. Today, I'm going to be restoring this 2007 HP Compact Presario C700 laptop. If you haven't already, make sure you take a look at the previous restoration video on how I restore a 2003 HP Pavilion ZE4600. This laptop comes with Alltech Lansing speakers. It includes an Intel Celeron processor with Windows Vista Home Basic. Now, before we uh, turn on the laptop, I would like to use a microfiber cloth to clean the screen and the keyboard as well. And without further ado, let's press the power button and numerously press the F11 key. Just like any HP laptop to access the system recovery, as you can see right here, Okay, so once you hit F11 to access the system recovery, you'll be greeted with this screen. So to start the recovery process, we'll click on Next. Now, it asks if you want to do the Microsoft System Restore, which uh, restores your computer to an earlier point in time. But uh, no, we are going to do the factory restore, the system recovery, in other words. So we do want to do that. Click yes. Uh, there's nothing to back up on here, so technically uh, we don't need to worry about backing up our files. And um, once we click next, the whole recovery process starts. Make sure you do not have anything plugged in the laptop at all times, with the exception of the charger, and just wait patiently, because this part does take time. Now, because this is the older version of factory restoring an HP laptop, it will not reboot numerous times like the newer laptops do. So, technically, it would be taking about 20 minutes or so to factory restore the whole laptop. I've decided to speed the video up for, for timing purposes, but other than that, this part, of course, takes time as usual. Okay, so we have reached 99% of the whole progress, and it still says that there's five minutes remaining, but now, the recovery is complete. So once we click finish, the laptop will restart back to its factory restore settings. Okay, so now, just like a brand new laptop, we have restored this compact back to its factory default settings. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the setup. The license term for the operating system and uh, the license term for the compact laptop. I'm just going to name the laptop this, 
And uh, here's the cool thing is uh, you can either choose a Windows background or you can choose a compact background. I'll go for this uh, orange one which looks really cool. Um, always use recommended settings when installing Windows and I will uh, change this to Arizona time and the clock is really off it's uh, 11 19 in the morning and the year is also wrong I haven't used this thing in a while so that's probably it and today is the 14th I believe and that's it for the whole recovery process Now, during this next part, Windows Vista will be finalizing the computer's settings. Okay, so we're at the point where it is preparing the desktop. Okay, so after it's done preparing the desktop, you'll see that there is a little welcoming screen on here and it thanks us for choosing compact laptops. But we can just skip all of this to by clicking on begin. and it even tells us that we can register our laptops but I can just register later and I suppose we can uh, send anonymous usage data from compact specific applications but we always want to have the updates enabled click next now Getting online. This does come with wireless, but to make things easier, I'm going to plug this Ethernet cable onto the side of the laptop. So now I'm going to click Next since I have connected my my internet and boy there is a lot of registration here and now we can click finish oh and now that uh, that we have factory restored it we're also installing software surprisingly So the software portion took over a minute. It wasn't that long, but now it tells us that we can uh, we can do an extended service plan. That way we can uh, maintain the laptop. But I'm not interested right now, so I'm just going to click next. And ooh, there goes our wallpaper. And there goes the. Um, the basic theme as opposed to the arrow theme because this is Windows Vista Home Basic you don't get the nice arrow effects like you do in the 
higher editions. And there goes our fully restored HP laptop. Now, before I consider ending the video, I would like to show around what this laptop came with when purchased brand new. So you'll see that there's lots of unnecessary things like um, this Vonage service. Uh, because this, I guess it's because this laptop does have a phone jack. There's HP PhotoSmart. Rhapsody, Norton Internet Security, and uh, my HP games. Let's take a look at the games because they're really cool. Okay, so uh, as you can tell by any, like any HP laptops, uh, oh, there goes the gadgets, but all HP games are powered by Wild Tangent, and they have been for quite some time now. So we're just going to click Agree. and click on continue. Oh, and while that's waiting, you'll see that there's this little welcoming screen by HP, which is cool. Let me turn it up just so you can hear it. Okay, so the HP games are still initializing, and the HP Total Care Advisor is automatically starting up, which is cool. Okay, so while that's taking its time, we'll just um, we'll just take a look at the games. Now, when I purchased this game, now when I purchased this laptop brand new. Uh, there, there were lots of games that I liked playing. Um, this uh, Blaster Ball 2, that was rather fun. Looks like there's multiple versions of Blaster Ball 2, but... If we scroll down, we can see the remaining games. And to make things easier, I'm just going to sort them by A to Z. Anyways, if you wanted to play a game, you can click on Free Trial. and just click install so it can run. Okay, so unfortunately this game requires Windows 7 or newer, but I'm assuming all of them do, so I'm just going to not worry about the games, but I am going to enable this Java runtime environment. But I'm gonna close out of this, close out of Internet Explorer, And you'll see that um, that on the main PC health and security screen, you got the battery, the the PC updates, the antivirus, internet connection, and the storage bars, which is cool. So I'm gonna close out of this. Might as well take a look at some other programs like. Uh, let's see. Um, oh yes, uh, one of the things that I like is that it comes with an Office 2007 trial. Uh, it includes Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Excel.
and you are greeted with this. Of course, you have to enter the product key. This is the Home and Student Edition, by the way. Hence, there's no Outlook. Always want to do updates. Any typical HP laptop always comes with an office trial. And here's the, the office button which opens up the main menu. I really don't like it that much, but I, what do you expect? Might as well take a look at Excel while we're on the topic. Still wants me to enter the product key. This is just a trial, but oh, but it looks like right here you can use the activation assistant to uh, do a 60 day Office 2007 trial, or you can just activate it right here. But I'm not going to bother with that that much. But what I will do is go into Windows Update to see how many updates there are. Oh, 92. Nice. Now, one of the downsides of this uh, of Windows Vista, at least I know, is that it will not do any more updates if you install Service Pack 2, at least from my point of view. What's best about this laptop is it uh it has a LightScribe optical drive. That way you can uh uh burn a picture onto the DVD which is nice take a look at the gadgets I like this one better and look even MSN existed back then which is crazy but that about wraps it up for this factory restoring video I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and check out some of my other tech videos too.